let's go over and talk about today's video. Today's video is going to be about this 2020 Corvette. I've owned it for 22 months. I waited 15 months to get it. It's quite a long run here for one car. Probably the longest I've waited uh, for a car ever in my lifetime, 15 months. Um, and we're going to go over all the parts, interior, exterior, mechanical, uh, that I like and don't like. Well, let me tell you what kind of a car I got. I've got a 2020 C8 Corvette. It is 2LT. There's either 1, 2, or 3LT. This is right in the middle, 2LT. Uh, Z51, which is the performance handling package. It really, is, I like a lot. Um, I also got the GT2 seats. I really like the GT2 seats. They are absolutely excellent. And I got the magnetic ride. And uh, what else did I get? Front lift. And uh, <clears throat> some of the paint things that are you can probably see just by looking at it um, and that's about it oh we did put the stripe on my wife and I put this beautiful red stripe on this came out really good <laughs> much better than I thought it would I think it, I think it looks great but um, we'll talk about that later and at the end of the video at the end of today's video of the 20 Corvettes that I've owned that's right I've owned 20 Corvettes since well over 55 years now I've owned Corvettes and this is my 20th one and I'm going to tell you, out of the 20 Corvettes that I've owned, at the end of the video, I'll tell you which one is my all-time favorite. The first one I want to talk about is the exterior. The exterior of the car. Well, I like the overall looks. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, the only thing I do miss is the behind the seat. I don't know if you can see that. on the, Behind the seat, there's nothing. There's an engine. <laughs> That's the only way you can get, and I like the glass here so you can look in and see the engine. I, I really, really like that. Um, the paint is very good. I uh, absolutely love the paint. I thought the paint came out really, really well. And as I mentioned, uh, there's so many people that comment on the uh, being able to see the engine from the, uh, from the rear here. It's pretty good. And the other thing I want to that I really like is I'm glad we, my wife and I put on the uh, stripes. These stripes um, are from VET stripes, V-E-T-T-E-S stripes.com. And they make stripes for all years of Corvettes. And uh, this is one of their designs that they put out. And I really, really like it. It came out nice. My, and as I said, my wife and I put them on. And you know, here's the thing. My wife and I are still talking to each other, too. That's pretty, pretty good. I like the black wheels. Uh, I like the black trim and the black little wing, which I think comes out nice. I like the black letters and the black on the back there. I think the black and the black uh, and the white and the red, I think those three colors are a nice combination. I really like them a lot. So there you go. Next is interior, and <laughs> there's not a whole lot of storage space in here. There's a, some, I mean, you put a couple of small bags in there, but there's not the storage space I like. Um, also, let me put this down. Also, the, the blind spot, which is right here, and obviously it's on the other side too. So if you're driving, if you're in the driver's seat over here and you look this way, I'm trying to look out this way to see if any cars are coming. Uh, I look down here and I can't see, but here's the butt, which is good. There are sensors on the side and the back of this car. Those sensors will detect cars covering from other side and uh, also behind you. And plus you have this great camera here that's going to give you uh, a great look out this way. So I really like that. And, and that's the little camera in the back. And that's looking out here too for your rear view mirror. So that works really great too. I like how the interior is driver centered. And what I mean by that is when you're sitting in the uh, driver's seat, uh, it, it really, you are the master of the 
of the vehicle here. It's, it's really a nice setup. I really like that. Um, I really like the GT2 seats. They are much more comfortable. Uh, I tried the GT3 seats, but the, um, the side bolsters here are very, very high, and it makes it a real pain in the butt getting in and out of the seat. Once you get in the seat, it's great, but it's getting in and out that's a pain in the neck. So the GT2 seat is a very good compromise seat, I think. Uh, the front and rear ca cameras, I talked about the rear ca cameras there are also. Uh, if you get the 2LT or above, uh, you get the front cameras. And these uh, front cameras are great. If you're pulling into the garage, you're not going to smash into the, uh, to the back end there. So the front, the front cameras work really well, too. I really, really like that. The radio. <laughs> I never had a radio this nice in any of my cars. The radio on here is great. The display. Uh, <coughs> center display is very, very good. Um, <clears throat> the only thing I don't like is you put your, you put your uh, cell phone right there. And in order, in order to get your cell phone in there, you almost have to hire a chiropractor after you twist around and put your phone in. It's very, very hard to put your phone. Too bad they didn't put your phone somewhere up here. Would have been a lot easier, but no, they got it back here. And also, while I'm here, this little uh, glove box right there, I don't think you could put a pack of cigarettes in there. It's skinny, small, small, skinny. It's pathetic. That's the best word. Um... There's a poor placement for the frunk and trunk. I'll show, let me show you this. Here's the frunk and here's the trunk. See these two buttons right here? Now I usually take, I'll show you. I usually take a water bottle or something, put it in here and it squeezes in here nicely. But while I'm here, notice my hand. I can very easily touch one of those buttons. And by doing that, uh, I've either got the front open or the trunk open. I don't know why. GM's usually pretty smart. Why the heck they'd put that button, those buttons there? Uh, they put them up here somewhere or up here even. I, you know, somewhere, somewhere out of the way. But like this would have been fine up here. But down here, duh, that's a big D-U-H. <laughs> that's, that's not a very good idea. I also like the rear view mirror. Isn't that great? Can you see that? Well, I'll... sometimes you get a little reflection in the mirror, but it's not bad. I don't have any problem with it, but that's the rear view mirror. And uh, let me show you what it looks like off. <laughs> not much to see. So now the mechanical parts. Uh, with the Z51, you get the electronic differential and not the mechanical in fact if you go to your um, if you go to your owner's manual you can see uh, on page 195 it'll tell you all about the electronic uh, version versus the mechanical differential I got the Z51 in mag ride so now I have performance traction management and performance traction management is amazing uh, the front lift I would probably not order again because the roads here in Florida are pretty doggone good for the most part. So I never really need any big reason for it. Um, I don't track the car anymore, so I don't need a big wing. So I like the nice Z51 wing in the back. That's fine. This is the most planted Corvette I've ever driven. I mean, really planted. This thing, this is so much better than any of my Z my C7, my C6, my C5, Z06, I had all the Z06s. And here's another one. I've always had four speed, five speed, six speed, seven speed, you know, manual transmissions. But you know something? This dual clutch transmission is the best transmission I have ever driven. I've already changed the filter and the transmission filter and I've also already uh, added the two quarts. But the only thing that's really kind of dumb is there's no uh, dipstick on the transmission. I don't know why. You can't check. Um, you can't visually check the uh, transmission fluid, which I don't really like. I wish they'd put a dipstick in there. Don't be a dipstick. Put one in there. <laughs>
I really like all the driver's modes, and if you play around enough with this car, there's a lot of driving modes. There's even more than you probably even realize. The head-up display is very good, uh, and the driver's display is uh, configurable for different displays. And launch control. I love launch control. <laughs> that works really well, too. Out of all the 20 Corvettes that I've owned, um, which one of the 20 is my favorite? And I have to tell you right now, hands down, no question, the um, C8 Corvette is the most amazing Corvette I've ever owned. And I'm sure if you get one, it'll be the or if you have one, it probably is the most amazing Corvette to own. I just, it just handles so well. I can't get over how well the car stays planted on the highway and on maneuvers. You can see, you can see in some of my video how that works. Um, also, I talked about, uh, one other thing I talked about was um, performance traction management. That's huge. If you ever do any track days, or even if you do autocrossing, put the car on performance traction management. First of all, if you get the Z51 package, you get the electronic differential, not the mechanical differential. And the electronic differential is uh, able to switch the torque on the wheels on each wheel at um, absolutely lightning speed, which I really like. And uh, if you put the car on performance traction management, I have a video on that, by the way, you can go look at it. Shows you how to do it, shows you how to put it in performance traction management and actually do some videos on using it. And you can watch as I go make it, this car go through the paces. It's an amazing car. But performance traction management, you, you definitely want to get it. Now, in order to get performance traction management, not only do you have to have Z51, but you have to have mag magnetic ride control. So if you don't have both, you don't get the performance traction management. So make sure that you get Z51 and magnetic ride, and then you have the optional Z51. Now, if you're just going to ride the car around town and it's just a kind of daily driver kind of thing, and you're not really, you don't have a lead foot, then probably the Z51 and the magnetic ride you probably don't need. But if you ever want to go do an autocross or go on an on-track event or maybe do some very spirited driving on some back roads down in Mexico, then you want the Z51 and the magnetic rider. You'd be crazy not to get it. So it's a hell of a deal. And uh, look at my video on performance traction management, PTM. It's, it's the cars. <laughs> the performance traction management outdrives the Corvette race car drivers. That's how amazing it is. So there you go. Hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and share a comment with us. What are some of the things you like about your C8 or don't like? Put them down there. Love to read them. Well, I read them all. Okay, it's bonus time. And here's the bonus for you today. Uh, it has to do with the Z mode. If I go over here to the Z mode, um, I can push the button and notice that the Z becomes lit. And then if I push it again, it goes off. Now, uh, I've set this Z mode up so that the exhaust sounds even a little bit better than what it does when it's idling. It's pretty interesting how this works, but let me, I'll show you. Let me, let me go over here to settings. I'm gonna push settings and then I'm gonna go over to vehicle and you see my mode and Z mode. Now the only one I'm messing with here today is Z mode. You can see is my mode also, but the Z mode is the only one I really like because I can manually change this over here in the steering wheel. So let me go to Z mode. And notice that on Z mode, I've got um, the engine sound is track. The steering is sport, the suspension is sport, and the powertrain is track. I found out that these four settings work pretty good and they give me a little louder uh, exhaust noise, believe it or not, than normal. And I said, how do you change these? Because these probably aren't set 
uh, the same in your car as they are mine right now. So all you do is tap on this guy and you're going to get three um, uh, options. And this is everything else is quiet. You want the track mode. So, you know, you're going to hit the track mode and uh, keep that. And the same thing with steering. I put it in sport. It's a little bit stiffer. It's not too, it's not too, uh, I, I, I don't know. I get a good feeling with the steering when I'm in sport mode. And the suspension I like in sport, it's a little bit stiff, but it's not, you know, it doesn't jar the fillings out of your teeth. And then the powertrain is track mode. Now, you're going to find that when you drive this car, uh, it's going to keep the revs up. It's going to shift a lot quicker. It's going to downshift to a lower gear as you're slowing down and it's going to downshift quicker to a lower gear this this setting right here i find it's got my uh it, it, you can rock and roll this car uh, and all you have to do the only way you get into z mode is to push this button and then when that light comes on i've got all those in other words the car just change over to all those settings and we'll go back to, you know, whatever settings I had, if I were in sport or touring or something, we'll go back to that uh, mode you had it set in originally when you push this off. So now let's go back in the back of the car and I'm going to have Patty come out here, my wife, and we're going to push the Z button. She's going to push the Z button on and off while the car is running. And uh, I'm going to put the camera back there so you can see the difference when the Z mode is on and off, even though I think I've got it set at the loudest settings. It isn't the loudest settings. But, all right, here's the car with the uh, with Z mode off. Okay, Patty, turn Z mode on. Here's Z mode on. That's Z mode on. Wow. Now turn it off. That's Z mode off. Okay, turn it on again. You can see the difference. That's my tip of the day for you guys out there and ladies. Enjoy.